My mother is the biggest enabler in the world. Tony, you want some coffee? Yeah. She does everything for Tony. She pays the bills, the mortgage, pays for his truck, pays for his gas. She stocks refrigerators. No matter what he needs, he has. My mom supports him 100%. My mother is 68 years old and she works two jobs. Mom, you're constantly giving him money. He sucks everything out of her. When he went to jail and got arrested, my mom dipped into her 401k to save my brother. My mom will even wake him up in the morning to go to work. What time is you up in the morning? Seven o'clock. I'll wake you up. Why do you have to wake up a 32-year-old? They sell alarm clocks in every retail store on every corner in America. Go buy an alarm clock. We'll get into arguments. You know that he's high. I didn't know that. My mother knows that he is a drug addict, but she turns a blind eye. He admitted that he had drugs. He admitted that he snorted a blue. Whoa. Seriously, are you this oblivious? Yes, yeah, I guess so. She lies for him. She will make excuses for him. At my uncle's funeral, Tony completely nodded off. And the excuse is, oh, he's just tired. My brother is a junkie. He's a loser. Are you Not high? Or you just ruined it. I was high five minutes ago until you started coming here yapping and, and I couldn't even enjoy it. If it was my kid, he'd be patted down every time he walked in the door. One time, I noticed that he was snorting something off of the bathroom counter. So I kicked the door in, hit him in the head. We full blown went at it. As he's trying to get his drugs, I'm blowing them on the ground as we're fighting and I'm yelling at him. I cannot believe that snorting drugs in mom's house. He was bleeding, I was bleeding. It was pretty bad. You got the junkie, you got the enabler, and then you got the bitch sister that's like, what the f wrong with both of you two idiots? Well, Linda says all she wants to do is take care of her little boy. Her little boy is like 32. She is adamant that she won't listen to anyone badmouth her baby. My son, Tony, is a mama's boy. I love you, Mom. Love you too, Tony. I'm gonna take care of him. I'm gonna make his life easier. I love having Tony around. If it weren't for Tony being here, I would be talking to my dog all by myself, waiting for her to answer. I have never seen Tony do drugs in front of me. He may go outside and I'll be inside not knowing any better, but he's, Tony's never done them in front of me. No. There was a time I found something that looked like a pill and it said to box it. He said, well, that really helps me. I gave it back to him. And when Andrea found out, the horns grew on her head. This is what you call oblivious. He'd give you a story and you give it back to him. I thought it was helping Tony. So he's online gambling and you give him your credit card and then he admits to being high and you hand him your keys? She's like a bulldog. And I just like want to put my hands over my ears and say, I don't want to hear anymore. When Tony got arrested, I had no clue that he was selling drugs. And thinking, that can't be Tony. I was ashamed to say, my son is in prison. So I didn't tell anybody. I would make excuses. Oh, Tony's working. I can't kick him out. I'm scared that something will happen to him. Where's he gonna eat? Where's he gonna sleep? I don't care what anybody says. He will always be my baby. What do, what do you want from me? I want uh -huh. you to help Tony. Tony is a good kid. Okay, list your priorities for me in terms of what is most important to you in your life right now? My son gets his life back. Then what would be second to that? That he is a, pr a happy, prosperous individual. And what would be third priority in that your life? That I do the right thing, that if, I help him do the right thing. That you help him do the right thing, then what would be fourth? Where do I come in? You're, you're, you're so. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, no, no, she's, she's. I'm like fourth or fifth in my kids. No, 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 like yeah, no I don't think you're even in the top no. 10, but I'm getting no, to that. No, that's not. Thank There's you. a plan no. here. Hold on, I'm getting to you. That's not, no, no. Zip it, sister, I'm coming. <laughs> right, you, you didn't make the list so far. I ask you your priorities, and you said, Tony, 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 Tony. You didn't mention you, and you didn't mention her. It was just Tony, 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 or Tony, her Tony. Kids. Okay. Which I thought I was making a very clear case for until sister interrupted me. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, so spit it out. What do you want to say? <laughs> That's my point right there. We're not a priority to her. Everything is him. Granted, I love my brother with all of my heart. I love him just as much as she does. But <clears throat> her whole existence <clears throat> is him. Um, I'm put on the back burner. She doesn't take care of me. She takes care of him. But Who takes care of you? Myself and my husband, and we take care of our three children. So you stand on your own two feet. Absolutely. Why doesn't he take care of himself? She takes care of herself. She has a husband and three kids. He can't get himself up in the morning. And I don't what, live at what, home. What's wrong with him? She wakes him up in the morning. I just make sure he gets to go. No, to bed. no. I'm on the phone with you, and we'll be talking, and you'll say to me, "Oh, hold on, hold on, Tony. What? I'm going to bed. Good night. What time do you have to be up in the morning?" Right. 